people like to use high pressure to get people to buy in, and a lot of the times people fall for it because people, you know, good deals, people act on them. During big sales, you can feel pressured to buy now while the deals are hot, but it's not always the best option. Tonight, we talked to a Fargo woman who took advantage of a big deal on a major purchase. And now, a year later, she says it was a costly mistake. Fortunately for her, it's one that the store is working to fix. But that may not always be the case. She shares her, shares her story with Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall. So what happened to her doesn't happen to you. About a year ago in February, we were looking at hot tubs. Justin, my significant other, injured his back. And we looked at it as a, an investment to help him kind of heal better. Um, and Tubs of Fun was having a huge sale. Stratton says the sale was an opportunity to buy what she thought was a used 2015 Cal Spa hot tub for about $5,300. What we saw is an opportunity to get a little bit older model and then... Um, save some money, but also still get something that would help him. But that opportunity quickly turned into a setback. Right away, Stratton says she experienced issues with the purchase, from it overheating to being delivered with a ripped lid. Tubs of Fun fixed those problems, and Stratton's family enjoyed the hot tub for the rest of the season. But with a new year came new problems. Recently, we wanted to start getting ready to use it again because it's that time of the year. Uh, and we discovered it's not heating properly, I called the competitor and said, can you come out and see what's wrong with it? That's when Stratton found out there was an even bigger problem. She didn't have a 2015 Cal Spa hot tub. She had a 2011 model. There's a metal plate on the hot tub that can tell owners about its make and model, but you have to know where to look. I was appalled. I mean, I, I, I bought a 2015. So I went digging and found the original receipt. It was written up as a 2015. Now, Stratton says she wants the tub to go and a full refund. Tubs of Fun has apologized for what it calls a clerical error and is actively working with Stratton to find a solution. But if you find yourself in a similar situation, there is help. So we have a mediation program that if you have a consumer and a company that just can't come to an agreement and, you know, we've gone back and forth with them, we will bring them in and have a free mediation session. We do have about 35 volunteer lawyers. Before you buy, Ellenson says, you also need to know your rights to a refund. In North Dakota, stores can set their own refund policies, so never assume you know what it is unless you've asked. Always look into the refund um, policies, ask questions. I mean, that's the best thing you can do whenever you're making a big purchase. So while Stratton is on the way to a resolution, she's also speaking out, so others don't have to go down the same path she did. In West Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. Again, Tubs of Fun told us late this afternoon that they are working to get Stratton a refund. But if you find yourself in a similar situation and aren't able to come to a compromise with the business, the BBB says you could always try taking them to small claims court.